Hi Ravens and welcome to my Path of Exile weekly update episode 25. First of all, the audio might be a bit scuffed. I've just done a couple of um, audio tests and it looks like my recording microphone headset is on the fritz. But uh, this is the only time I get to record this particular episode. So I'm going to do it now and hope the audio isn't too bad. Also, I went to the dentist a few days ago and had a, an allergic reaction to the cleaning fluid they use on their um, chair. And uh, that's why you haven't heard from me in a few days, no tweets, etc. I've try been trying to keep active on TFT Discord. But other than that, that's all I was really capable of. So, with all that out of the way, let's hope this video goes through and the audio isn't too bad. What have I been doing in Path of Exile this week? First of all, we are at level 75 on our Jug RF, based on Pox's Jug RF. Um, <clears throat> we're into maps, we are into T1 maps. We've uh, done a few, we're taking it very slow, very steady. We've got to level 75 and we have done a three, uh, three labs, that's Merc, Cruel and Normal. So now we need to grind up to level 85 and then do the Lord Labyrinth, that's the fourth and final Ascendancy Lab, and then get to level 90. That is the plan. We are going to go very slowly, we're going to go very carefully because I really don't think I have it in me to level again in HC SSF but I want the challenges so or the the achievements sorry so that's that uh, gear wise we're not doing too bad we still have the uh, same scepter we've had for a while we haven't found a better one yet and I haven't been able to craft a better one still running around with a similar helm I think we've had this helm for a while I found this corrupted six link so we are in a six link now this is our fire trap six link with some scuff set up because I can't change the links we've got a new shield um, with our shield charge in there our RF is in the helm and down here I'm rocking a hex touch flammability frost blink with a skitterbots and we have got castle damage taken molten shell because it's hardcore and a vitality on arrogance with these two rings, this amulet, and this belt. Two life floor flasks, both with corrupted blood. Why? Well, it's HCSSF, and um, honestly, I, I don't think I've got it in me to do another one. So I'm really hoping this one succeeds. There's the other flasks. Um, yeah, and that's it. So that's that one. Oh, I've got some new stuff. We've got a ton of new uniques, you can um, see them as I click them into my inventory. So this is also a uh, semi one all for one, if you've not heard of it, it's trying to co collect all of the uniques in the game. Um, in SSF is the normal way, I'm doing it in HC SSF. So there they go. You can see the counter ticking up there. Most of these are very common global drops, so um, pop that in there, and then we've got this one as well. So we're now up to 71 uniques in our tab. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, forgot one. There we go, 72. <laughs> I'm not wearing any uniques, and in there I'm just leveling up some gems for a different variation. So that's HCSSF. We, I have started Crucible, um, I've started an Inquisitor, uh, which will be my Delve build. I am not sure I'm going to continue leveling. Um, the thought of leveling this character, or any character in PvE now, fills me with dread until PvE 2 comes out. I just hate it. The vendor changes suck. Um, I've, I think I covered this in my last weekly video, maybe, I'm not sure. But um, I've done a lot of league start practice on various builds and um, I didn't get a bow in what, what is now 75% of my runs on my Scion. And without a bow, the run's dead because I need a bow. Um, so yeah, we're up to 25 runs and of the 25, 18 of them... No, no bow, no bow drop from uh, Hillock, 
no bow that can be used at level one from um, Tarkley the vendor there are a couple at level five but I can't do four levels without a bow because that's not the build I want to run so from that point of view the new vendor stuff the way the vendors work suck never had a problem with it before 3.21 3.21 hits a change of vendors and now pfft, scions aren't guaranteed a bow and I know I could mule a ranger I don't want to I shouldn't have to anyway with that out of my system this character is currently a brand character I'm not following any build guide as you can see from my very scuffed tree I've taken what I needed when I needed it um, I'll tidy this up if the character makes it any further I am very tempted to contact GG support and get one of my high level 90 plus inquisitors back from um, the graveyard ie I deleted it um, and then I can just build it in standard. I've got a ton of resources, a ton of divines, and I, I can just build it and get going rather than have to go through the leveling process. And I was going to try and get uh, quite a load of challenges done um, in Crucible. I've got done two, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm getting some of the low level ones down. But I honestly don't know if it's in me. I don't know if I want to do it. Um, we will see. I'm going to go over the weekend and um, see how we go. So yeah, uh, scuff build. We've got our, our vortex cunning strike thingy set up here. We've got purity of elements because it's easier. We've got a frost blink with Ellie Prolif. We've got a winter tide brand with some links. We've got arcanist brand here. Uh, that's going to be um, Tornado and Sniper's Mark for Spark. I know I've got the wrong curse in there. I've only just realised because I was looking at the end game setup. That should be Frostbite. I'll have to go and change that. Uh, we've got Herald of Ice and Defiance Banner in there. And down here we've got a level 1 Vitality. I'm waiting for Arrogance. And then I'll chrome this and put Arrogance in there for that. Plus 1 max res from the Mastery. So yeah, it's very scuffed. Uh, I'm in Act 5 right now, as you can see by the quests. Um... I've had fun leveling this character. Um, did the one recipe, so I ended up with some minion essences. Threw those on some white chain belts with two whetstones, two of these, um, and then brought these ones white from the vendor, and then did the recipe and got the spell damage plus the spell damage, and then crafted res on there to get res cap. So yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, where are we going next? Do, do, do. This is my leveling character. Um, Garf need bow, please. So this is the character I want to be leveling. I'm testing it out for BPL. It is attempting to be some sort of totem build. I'm not sure what. Probably artillery, ballista. But at the moment we're rocking a galvanic arrow. With oh, this this setup is so nice at early levels. We've got a um. Shrapnel Ballista in here, and we've got uh, Frost Blink up there, and Sniper's Mark in there. So that's just going through the leveling process. I want to get to Act 5. Uh, I got to Act 4 and realised the gems i had done had com were completely wrong. So I've, I've started again, and I might do some more of that while I'm watching uh, the podcast, which is on in about two hours' time from the time of this recording. Just going to have a look at Standard. <laughs> Legacy character, nothing more to be said. Uh, I've done some blighted maps on my cold convert blade vortex character I did it with the previous setup which I think was a wand and a shield I want to say but because I've got this BV bow or a wannabe BV bow and this awesome corrupted quiver I do far more damage like twice as much damage and then uh, as my previous setup so we've done this We've changed the gem setup, so we've got a cast on death portal because it's blight. We've got a defiance banner and flesh and stone. Uh, I've got my spare ashes of the stars, um, chaos resistance, some uh, attributes on there, and then we've got this one. Many many resists. We've got this, which was sat in my stash with frost blink, hex touch, life tap, and frostbite. 
Um, this is holding our auras. So we've got um, I've got this from Trade. I brought level four from Awaken Enlightened from Trade. Uh, so we've got that with Herald of Ice, Anonymous Hatred, Herald of Ash, Determination, and Anomalous Zealotry. Yes, I've heavily invested in uh, Minor Res. Uh, we've got Vortex down here, Awakened Ailments, Bone Chill, and Hypothermia. I'm thinking of changing this for Cull Strike, though. We'll see how it goes. I've got a Legacy Tactician belt here for the uh, Crit Strike Strikes and the Elemental Resistances. So that's pretty cool. We've got Flash Charges on there, plus the Global Fears Damage, and then some Strength. Um, and then these are all the flasks I'm wearing, plus the chest. This is where our BV is. There it is. Blade Vortex 20, 2020, 2020. Vile Blade Vortex, Inspiration, Cold Pen, Awakened Unleash, Power Charge on Crit, and Increased Crit Damage. This is my tree. We've come down here for Profane Bloom, over here for Frigid Wake, and over here for Forbidden Power. Come up through here for some life and mana. Up through here for more life. Over here for power charges. Down here for more power charges and a gem. Over here for Heart of Ice and Cold Mastery. I'm showing you this because I want to. It's my video. Um, the POB on my Google Sheet is out of date. That's another reason. So we've got the full Sovereignty Wheel. I've got Faith and Steel down here. Over here for the power charge. Plus the Watcher's Eye I picked up. Full um, devotion thing plus uh, max life there. Come over here for a fizz damage large cluster plus a medium cluster with towering threat and vast power. This one's the same with some res. That goes into a six reservation determination cluster with uh, some chaos res and strength as you can see. This I rolled. I um, it could go 35. It can't go 35% because of the eye level. It's the only one I had. I didn't want to buy a 35% one because they're very expensive. I didn't want to spend that amount of currency on this character yet. So this is just a 25% increase with some rares, attributes, and our hatred efficiency reservation evenly even. So come over here, we've got another large cluster, Fizz Damage, we've got another, oh no, over there, Towering Threat Vast Power, next level up will be this gem. Over here we've got the effect of non-damaging ailments with Blast, Freeze and Astonishing Affliction. And then in here we've got a Legacy Replica Conqueror's Efficiency for the Mana Cost plus Skill Duration. Down here for the full Influence Wheel plus Auras Mastery. Got some uh, written in blood down here for the power charge and over here for blood drinker and then this fractured area damage duel. So that's where the BV does. It's a very uh, overarching <laughs> tree but that's how the power charges are sat so that's where we went. I don't have any blight maps. I'm not going to do a blight map. I'll do that in a showcase at some point maybe. So that's that one. Uh, Delirium RF. I messed up. I uh, I have died three times I think since the last video maybe twice can't remember now but we are down to 23% I was up to 32% or some 32 33 then I ran a corrupted map without checking it it had elemental reflect on there but my frost blink is a 2020 and not a level 120 which is what pox says you do and I didn't and I died so not going great we're at 23 percent so yeah getting there i've got this delirium map to run um and i've got a ton other maps i've run them all but i've run them all i thought i had more maps in that i've got to run uh roll some more maps by the looks of it so i'll roll those and run those and hopefully we will get to level 100 at some point there's no gear changes on this character or tree changes at all. It's nothing's changed. It is literally just trying to get to level 100 now, um, and that's a slow progress because I keep dying. Um, 96 on the RF heist character. Again, no change. I've ma 
I have MTX this per this guy out crazily as you can see pretty much if I had an MTX it got used let's go through them most of these you can't get anymore uh, I don't think they might be in the store you'll have to check so we've got the Mad Cat Helm, we've got the Crypt Sword with the Ravager weapon effect, we've got the Yaksha Shield and then Dark Shard weapon effect, we've got the Prismatic Scintillation Body Armor, Annihilator Alternate Gloves, Void Emperor Boots, we've got the Ancestral Granite Flask effect, we've got the Stampede Quicksilver Flask effect, we've got the Rainfall Alive Fast effect, we've got the Gemling Sage Portrait Frame, the Imperator portal effect, and then we come down to the gems. We've got the Transcendent Righteous Fire. Boom! Isn't it pretty? I love it. Um, and then we've got an invisible effect on one of our auras. Don't know which one. The Void Emperor aura effect on another one. The Sunrise Blood and Sand effect. Another invisible effect on one of the auras. And then the Madcap aura on a different one. All in all, we're looking very psychedelic in our purple slash red slash colours. Makes it very pretty for me to look at when I'm running heist. Honestly, after all this time running heist and with endless heist gone, I am pretty burnt out on the mechanic. I have to admit, I am pretty burnt out running heist. Um, so there you, there you can see the actual flask effects in in what's it sit choose a word I've changed my shield I finally put on this one I brought um, ages ago so yeah that's in there no, no nothing else has changed on this character I don't think we've got a I think that was already in there so yeah this is a just running through the heist um, I've got a fair few contracts and I've got more blueprints but I've got a hundred and almost 150,000 uh, rogue markers to use so hopefully I can get some of these BPs have got two new unusual gems to run so hopefully I can get some more unusual gems to run uh, the sign was the end game test for the artillery ballista setup it kinda works I've done a couple of changes on that <coughs> Death Oath has run the two expedition logbooks I had I'm going to be changing my Atlas passive tree. As soon as my RF guy hits 100, I'm going to be specking to expedition, and this is where this character will really come into its own. Again, no changes. I haven't leveled up on this character um, for a long time. I have changed the tree, I think. Yeah, I didn't like the grey setup, so I've almost gone back to what how I liked it. I'm doing a ton more damage. I'm surviving more. Um, I understand where the person was going with the grace and stuff, but this way I, I've dropped the grace, I've dropped the damage because I, I do more damage with the death oath. Um, I picked up the extra arrow node down here. Uh, that's my bow, that's my quiver. It's a legacy quiver, so I don't want to change it or I'd get a, um, another attack on that. Uh, I think everything else is the same, pretty much. Um, yeah, I think I think it's all the same as last time. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, temp change, enhance, plus for me and despair. Yeah, I changed this. This one had enfeeble in there. It didn't seem to be working because I can only do two castes because I prefer to have heart of darkness on on here for the more damage. Um. So we've put enhance rather than feeble. So we've got the temp change, we've got the despair with the blasphemy, and then buffed by the enhance. We just seem to do so much more damage and so much more tanky. So that's that change. Um, also, we've got lots of new stuff to go through. My new tab is almost full. So, <laughs> so many more uniques. Um, but the fourth vow, chain of endurance, uh, chain of censure of benevolence, Tanu Ahi, a Balas stand, entropocket devastation, I think that is, storm seeker, blood price, blood soaked medallion, tainted pact. Uh, this is a boss drop, so I had to buy it. So I thought when I had the divines, I'll buy it. So I've now got a progenesis flask. As per my previous videos for collecting uniques, 
If it is a boss drop, I'm going to have to buy it because I cannot do bosses due to my medical conditions. And then I brought Ancestral Vision. It was unID'd and I managed to, or luckily got nine out of the ten decks. So let's put these away in our tab. Currently got 1,183. So let's find Progenesis. Boop. That means we're only missing one more flask. Amulets. Tainted Pact. Boop. Blood Soaked Medallion. Boop. That leaves the two. Both again. Uh, this is a boss drop. Uh, and that's a Blight Ravage drop, I think. So I'll get that at some point. Uh, no rings because they're just all really expensive slash really hard ones to get the precursors is delve which is why i'm putting a delve build together i want to try and get these myself calandra's touch and nimi's are probably both gonna be um i might be lucky to get calandra's touch but nimi's i'm gonna have to buy no claws daggers wands swords axes maces bows quivers Oh, what's that? Oh, stars. Yeah. Belt. There we go. So, Century of Benevolence is in, and Chain of Endurance is in. The Headhunter's back in. I took it off the BV character. Because the BV character is now just doing blight maps, there's no point having a Headhunter because I'm not killing the rares. The towers are killing the rares. So, I took it off. So, I just need to drink. Um, which you saw is now been replaced by the tactician on that character earlier in the video. Gloves, uh, Stormseeker, there they are. Boop and uh, Entropic. Boop. That's in there. So just turn out a heart. Just the Hate Forge. I think the Entropic is a boss drop as well. I may have brought that one. Let's just check on poewiki.net. Come on. Tropical oh. uh, Gucci. Uber Shaper. Yep, so that was a buy. Because it's a boss drop. So that was brought. So now we're just leave, left with Hateforge. Boots. A bottle of stand, which makes me all the boots. Body armor. We've got the fourth foul. So that goes in there. There we go. Three left. Two replicas and the stasis prison. I've got my eye on these. They are very slowly coming down in price in standard. So it's almost to the point where I can afford one. It's pretty cool. Blood price completes my helms again. Shields, just the squire. Oh, that's annoying. Got all the maps, which is cool. Got all the contracts, jewels. We've got ancestral vision. Blood Notch. I thought I got Blood Notch. Maybe not. Maybe not. Where is my... Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, okay. Because I, I brought Progenesis. Blood Notch is up to 20 Divines in standard. So it's also a global drop. And I haven't had one yet. That's cool. So I'm just checking my, my thing. Let's look at the gems, and then we'll do the cards. Okay, so we've got some gems to go in our stash. So first we'll all do the superiors. We've got um, Explosive Arrow 2020. We've got Exsanguate. Again, if you're not familiar with this, um, I'm attempting to get every single gem in the game uncorrupted at 2020. Apart from one, which is Vile Breach. You can no longer get Vile Breach by corrupting portal gems. I'm not sure how you get it now. I think it is from a div card. Uh, and I want one. So I'm going to buy it. And that is the only corrupted gem I'll have. And it will sit in the um, in this exceptional tab when I get one. Uh, I did try buying one earlier in the week. But the person never replied. So Frostbolt. Firestorm. Pulverize. Divine Ire and Immortal Call. Cool. So there we go. 169 2020 gems. 
or ones that can be 2020 portals level one max so is detonate mines blood and sand is level six so is brand recall so they all sit down there we've got anomalous wither to go in our alt tab collection so that in that goes that gives 150 alt qualities at max level 20 quality including anomalous detonate mines anomalous smikers mark why is that that shouldn't be in there that shouldn't be in there either anomalous blood and sand so they need to go back in the leveling tree we'll put those right at the top as soon as you've got a space in our six white socket bow and our Maloney's and then this is a legacy gem it doesn't drop it's drop disabled you can only buy them in standard um, this one cost a lot I uh, can't remember the price. it was about 60 or 70 divines uncorrupted um, so in total it gives 43% quant so that is going to go in my exceptional gem tab over here Boop, like that um, and that's where it will stay I may I'm thinking of putting together a legacy MF build um, and it might go in there I'm not sure I don't know yet but otherwise it'll just sit in there okay that's all the gems done we've got some cards we've got to sort out so we've got a nebulous uh, lethal Lesson Temptation. It's the first card I had from this set. Uh, this is part of the Golden Border Challenge where you attempt to get one full set of every single div card in the game. And I'm getting there slowly. So we'll put Lesson Unowned. Increase the size so I can see the name of the cards. There we go. Go down. What's that one? Beauty Through Death. I think that's the first one of those as well. Yep, there it is. So I'll put that in there. Doop. There we go. Skip past it. H. Leth and Temptation. There's that one. So we need five more of those. Bing. There we go. Right, and now we will have a look at our. Uh, I called it library. So this is all the cards I've got full stacks of. Um, we are slowly getting there and we've got one to add which is a full stack of the nurse which gives us a doctor so that is my first stack of those as you can see I don't have well it depends how many you want to look at but not too many to go um, let's find the nurse the nurse which can be down here somewhere there's the doctor uh, the fiend Somewhere. there's the nurse there it is so there's the nurse here we go and doop, there we go one less I love it love it love it love it love it I'm hoping to get at three more stacks before the end of 3.21 there are five new div cards added I think I think there's five new div cards so I've done two if I get the other three it keeps me on track to completing as many sets as are released per league and that's it that is all the new stuff done that's all the updates on my builds um, next to do is look at cards so we've got a couple of currency ones to hand in a venters and a void uh, haven't had anything else done I've got some stack decks will open in a minute actually I should do those first shouldn't I duh let's put those back let's grab the stack decks and go to delve 10 20 30 40 whoops wrong button 45 let's go into the mine okay so the way this works is um, red cards if they come up with red text it's a six link if it's yellow text it's currency if it's brown it's useful cards if it's um, white and red then that is a pog card and if it's black and red it's um, a card I want for the collection so if you're colorblind I apologize that's an orange one 
wait a minute, I'm not on the right filter. LOL. Boom, that's better. Ooh, what's that? Oh, cartography star. Yep, yellow one. Nothing. <gasps> Ooh. That's the first one of those. We will be taking a print scan of that. It's a control print screen. There we go. That is the first one of those. That is one of the new ones. Nice. Experimented two-handed weapon. Eye level 86. That's in quality. Oh, that could go so wrong. Valkyrie. That's a nemesis item. Still gives a headhunter. Ooh. The Seiko. Is that a new one? Have I had that before? Let's have a look. I can't remember. Seeker. No, we've, uh, we've had that before. That's fine. Let's just update the listing as these come out. Uh, we're going to pick that up just in case anything untoward happens. Soul quenched. Um, no, that's the, that's why I can't find it. Soul quenched. There it is. Drops in maps usually, but stack decks. Nice. Right. Let's see if we get any more luck, or have we had our luck in those? The, are they those two cards? That's if we don't get anything else, I'd be happy. No more. Uh, Big cards would be good. Would sorry that came out wrong. I'm so tired. Oh, wretched. Nice. Another possible T. T possibilities of headhunters there. Still haven't seen an apothecary card yet. Out of stack decks, all my uh, grinding I've been doing. I've only run about ten crimson temples. It's the first time I've started doing it. Thought I'd give it a go, so I need an MF build. Wow, well, nothing. Yeah, looks like all our run luck, our luck run out with those. Ooh, nice. Not one for the collection, but still a nice card. To have no, that's it. Look at all this. I think that's the most cards I've had on the floor out of um. 40 oh, almost 50 and I'm just checking make sure these are all ones I don't want I should learn to trust myself I do actually want that one I need to change that mm, what's that no I'll pick time like up. right there we go done right let's put these in do 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 that's the first one of Soul Quenched, so let's go turn that to unowned. We'll watch one of the one of these disappear. There it goes. And a seeker we've already got one of, so right. Nothing new or interesting on the full stacks, just the oh, Uber fragment, nice. Just the uh, some alt orbs and an Uber fragment. Not that I can run it, I'll just stick it in the tab. Right, let's hand these in then. Not that one. Take some orbs of alteration. Where's that Uber friend? There it is. A Uber Elder Fragment. Nice. Is Aventus going to be any good? Is it going to be any good? Or is it going to be a big pile of pants? It's one of the worst I have seen. <laughs> wow, that's bad. Oh, uh, what's that currency? Like, let's see if we can pull out the void. A Mage Blood would be nice. Crystals, of course. Currency, yeah. Alts, okay. <laughs> Nothing good. Right, let's see. Have we had this one before? Yep. We need this one. This is the one we need. Um, we have got three, so we will do the Vendy trick. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, and the reses are good. Increased rarity. Oh, quant. That was almost good. It was almost good. Life is average. Fire resist is okay. Cold resist is awesome. Lightning resist is okay. 
four off max rarity and the quant is just <laughs> with the max implicit as well well okay that goes back in the bin finally can we see if we can get our shavs let's uh, burn some oh very low on scours burn some scours here we go nope not that time do 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 nope so again back in the box I haven't um, done any Jun missions to get the white sockets. Ideally, I want at least two white sockets on this before I corrupt it, and then I'll corrupt it and see what happens. Uh, that is my Ancient Orb for MB. That's my Ancient Orbing for Squire. Um, I need an Anal. I've got one. I've got one. I want more than one before I do that, so I can't go proceed with this. Because that is all tier one duplicate currency from heist, so I want to annul and try and get rid of the quant, um, and then um, org and see what happens. And then this is waiting for an increase because we've got tier one haste and tier one max roll job speed. Uh, so I need to buy an increase beast and or a few, and then regal and see what happens so I was waiting for that everything else has been sorted out as you can see from last video or last week's video the um, crafting tab has been massively sorted out now 3.21 has hit I've readjusted my RF build and my BV build so that's all done and dusted um, I don't think there's much else to talk about really I haven't sorted all that lot out I'm not gonna do it in this video because we're already racking up nearly 40 minutes and I have no idea what the audio is gonna be like I am hoping it's gonna be good um, as you see my divines took a stash buying progenesis and the other boss unique so I've currently got no divines in my stash tab to use but I've got 50 in my storage area and I might use 10 of that to gear out the spark character the more I think about it the more I might just delete the one in crucible and um, get a, a high level one back from the graveyard I, I just hate leveling now the, the change to vendors especially with crucible league being absolutely pants um, I might just wait for BPL and do it in BPL and then I've, at least I can start burning through Delve because that's what I want to do. I have I've maxed out my Delve juice and I've got like 700 Delve missions to waste. I've been burning through Kirak missions as well. Oh hello. Ha! So this is what I've been doing. I've been opening a map, running the map and then um, checking to see if Kirak's got anything nice. I've picked up a couple of 60% uh, Delhi um, maps. I've run on my Inquisitor, which is why I've got so high. I think it was about 33, 34% till I didn't read map mobs, died to reflect. I don't usually have shadow recording on when I'm playing SC. I might change that and see what happens, see if we get any good clips. Anyway, that's it. This video is going to be about 40 minutes long. If the audio, I'm really hoping the audio is okay. Um, going to the tech place tomorrow for my son's laptop, so I'll um, see if I can get a new headset. Anyway, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. The reason I'm recording this late on Wednesday, the 19th of April, is again, once again. My Thursday and Friday is packed full of IRL stuff and uh, it's kind of the best time to record it. So I'll try and get back to doing it Friday so it's uploaded Friday lunchtime GMT. It seems to be the better time for it to go up. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to bed.